barcode project that's been going on since 2003. It's a big site in the center of Oslo with 200,000 square meters of housing and offices. The barcode area is special with the DMB Nord Bank. A structurally very difficult building. Complex building due to its almost lack of continuous columns from the top to the bottom. Every building is unique. All the levels are different and there are lots of voids in the building. We needed uh, a real good engineer. We've been working closely with ARC uh, getting this building put together, the main structural system. So we have to uh, transfer a lot of the loads back and forth in the building to make it stable. And we're talking about some heavy loads also, so uh, structure is uh, significant. To do that right, you had to have a 3D model. We used uh, Autodesk Revit architecture. It gave us a really good solid model. It is very easy in Revit structure to, to make a model 3D. Very easy if you can take it from the architecture model. I made the design the way we wanted it, and I gave them the model, and that's it. And we have been changing that model ever since, and they've always just got updates. Hasn't been a problem. It's an advantage to use uh, BIM software on a project like Barcode due to its size. A whole lot of different architect companies, a whole lot of different buildings. The whole team used Autodesk Revit. All engineers involved in the project and architects. You have to, to work together with engineers and with the consultants on a very integrated level. Working with the Revit structure and working with the dark architectures uh, smooth process. It's easier to work in groups because you all work on the same model at all times. So, uh, so it's very easy to, to exchange information and to, uh, yeah, to, to work as a team. This is the first time all the engineers use the same system for all the involved consultants. We had um, like a library with uh, all the files and they were transferred back and forth between the consultants and also get everything back into one single file. We can check things, we can bring in other models and compare and see where there are things that need to be adjusted or not. And that way we can avoid collisions uh, between the different consultants. We had no big uh, strategy on how to collaborate by using BIM. We just took the software out of the box and used it and that worked. So we didn't have to spend a whole lot of time in meetings and planning processes in order to make it work. By using uh, Autodesk Revit uh, developers, uh, you really could see everything in 3D with all the different uh, consultants' ideas in there and you could uh, really walk through the model and then get a view for the whole project in 3D. We can use a whole lot more graphic communication because we have the 3D model, we can walk inside it, we can see every vantage point in the project. The um, engineering companies, we could show them where the problems will come and uh, they could see the building which they were going to build. The collaboration with the engineers benefited the whole project because we were able to make the design the way we wanted it. We were able to get rid of the columns down to the ground in large areas of the building uh, which could not have been done without very, very clever engineers. I don't think you could, uh, with this uh, building, I don't think you could have done it without uh, communication and uh, using the same model. Never been possible to get it right. There would be uh, lots of mistakes. We wouldn't have been able to, to build this building without this seamlessly com communication between us and, and the engineers all the way and finding all that in one piece of software is kind of unique. It saves a lot of time and it saves a lot of errors and it saves a lot of uh, money in the end. Autodesk Revit was involved uh, during the whole process. Revit did the job perfectly. It's a whole new way to communicate. Exciting. It's exciting to be a part of this, uh, this type of project.